All right, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakat Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who ruled well and was worthy to be counted for double honors. A peace citation to you brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right? You got anything? Yeah, I'm opening up with, uh, open up with, uh, uh Habakkuk. Mm -hmm. Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 1, it says, and I will stand upon my watch uh -huh. and set me upon the tower. Yeah, we're going to stand upon our watch. That's exactly what we're doing now. Standing upon our watch, man. All right? Telling these people, hey, man, if you don't get right with the Lord, the Lord Yahweh is going to destroy you, man. That's right. All right? And it's simple as that. Right. All right? If you're not doing what is uh, required to be salvation, man, you're not going to get salvation. All right? Yeah, you're not doing you don't go to work. Come. Yeah, come no, you know, I said, you don't go to work to expect a paycheck. I can't just go to McDonald's. He's like, yeah, um, where's my paycheck at? They're like, who the fuck is you? I've never seen you a day in my life. God, uh, yeah. No, I was going to say, uh, Ezekiel said, no, Ezekiel, have a say, I'm going to stand upon my watch because he's a watchman. All right? When the Lord, when the Lord uh, makes a profit, all right, not only is he a prophet, but he's also a watchman. Why, he's a, why is he a watchman? Because he has to watch. That's why Habakkuk said, I'm going to stand upon my watch. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 2. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man, it's like if the people bring the sword upon the land, if the, if the people of the land take a man in their coast and set, and set him, for their watchmen, yep. and it says, if when he sees the sword coming, the land, he blow up the trumpet and warn the people. God, that's why Proverbs, uh, was it 28 and 18? Was it 18? This is uh, in the book of Proverbs, it says, when there is no vision, the people perish. All right, happy is he who keeps the law. All right, why is it, why would people perish? Because you can't see, you can't see what's happening. Well, uh, in the ancient world, the watchman would stand upon a tower and he would see the army coming from afar and he would blow the trumpet, all right? Yep. And now today, that's spiritual. We're the watchmen. The prophets are the watchmen standing upon our watch, watching for what? The prophecies, all right? Yep. The prophecies coming to pass before America gets destroyed, yep. all right? Hey, perfect movie, man. Have you ever seen A Bug's Life, which is a Disney movie? Have you ever seen A Bug's Life? Hey, at the beginning of the uh, movie, they showed you, uh, 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 they showed you uh, 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 what the ants was working, and then they had ants on the, on the top of a tree, and they blew that horn like, uh, to let you know the grasshoppers was coming, all right? And the main char character, which your name was Flick, he even turned around, he jumped, he said, oh no, because he knew what was happening. He knew exactly what was going on. Because when them two ants was at the top of the tree and blew that trumpet and blew that, uh, uh, the horn, they knew that the, the, the grasshoppers was coming, all right? So, so yeah, same thing. So what did they do? They kicked it into high gear, did what they had to do, and they went until they laid out air holes, man. You know? Because they were afraid. They were afraid because they knew what was coming, man. Same thing us, man. We have a professor in the name of Yabashi Nasha saying that this world is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, man. When I say this world, I'm talking about Esau's kingdom, you know? I'm saying deliverance is only for Israel, you know? And if you don't get right, you're going to be uh, 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 judged according with America, man. Right. You know? That's the warning, man. And you have hope and salvation. And it says, it says when the it says when whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So if, you, if uh, so if we are here telling you, hey, get right before the Lord, repent, you know, and then you don't take heed to that, then the Lord is going to destroy you. But it's not going to be on our hands. Now, if we knew the truth and we didn't come out, that's what's going to it. That's basically what the brothers just read. If we, if, uh, if we are here telling you and you're not, and you're not taking heed after we have told you, then hey, uh, our blood, our, your blood is off our hands. You know? yep. That's the whole purpose of us coming. That's the whole purpose of us coming out here. You know? Yep. It says, it says here. It says he hear of the sound of the trumpet. It says that took that warning. His blood shall be upon him. It says, but he that taketh warning shall be delivered his own, his, his soul. He that taketh warning shall deliver his own soul, you know? Like us, we took warning. When we first heard the truth, we said, oh shit, this finna happen, that's finna happen? Well, what can I do? What can I do to get right? The brother just read it. Take take heed upon the trumpet so that your blood will be upon your hands. And then go out there and warn other people, man, so they can take heed. But only the elect is going to take heed. 
only the chosen, only a chosen few is going to take heed. But uh, the, all the rest of these people, the residue of them, all right, the remaining people, besides the elect, they're not going to take heed, man. Because they don't understand. They don't understand. It's not given unto them. They, yeah. They're built for destruction. All right. Yeah. It says. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet. Go ahead. And the people be not warned. It says, if the if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hands. Uh, this is the trumpet. This is blowing the trumpet. This is uh, I, I got it. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight, verse one. Cry aloud. Spare not. That word spare means don't hold back, right? That means if you're an old ass lady, if you're an old ass man, if you're a little ass kid, if you're a pregnant woman, if you're an adult man, you know, if you're a disabled man, no matter if you're a war veteran, no matter, man, we're, we're giving it to you raw and uncut, man. Yep. So if you come in all an old white Edomite lady, and she knew that she's like, oh yeah, I, I know I'm an Edomite, but but are you gonna are you gonna put me in slavery? Guess yep. what? I'm gonna say yes. Your ass is going into slavery, man. Yes. And if you're an old ass, nothing ass, uh, 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 old timer ass nigga, and you be like, oh, I don't believe in that what y'all saying here. Well, guess what? You're going to die in your iniquity, man. You're going to die in your sins, man. Your old, your old ass, man. You know, we don't hold nothing back, man. That's you know, right. we're not sparing anything. We're not sparing your feelings, all right? It says, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. All right, that trumpet, it says, show my people their transgression. And we're showing your transgression. If you report your transgression, if you go to church, your transgression. If you're not doing the will of Yahweh Bashi Yashai, your transgression. If you're popping another man's woman, your transgression. All right? These are sins according to the Bible. Go ahead. Show my people their transgression uh -huh. in the house of Jacob yeah. their sins. Right, because Jacob is the only one that can sin, man. All right? The so-called white man can't sin. The so-called Chinese man cannot sin. The so-called African man can't sin, all right? Because the law wasn't given unto them, man. It's given to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The law was given unto you. Go ahead. Let me skip down to verse 17. Ezekiel 33, 17. It says, yet the children of thy people say, the ways of the Lord is not equal. But as for them, the ways, but their ways are not equal. It says, when the righteous, when the righteous turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, he shall die thereby. But the wicked, but if the wicked turn from the wicked, from the wickedness, and do that which is lawful and, and right, he shall deliver, it says, he shall live thereby. He shall live thereby. Yet ye say, the ways of the Lord is not equal, O house of Israel. I will judge you every one after his ways. All right? So basically, that's the Lord being fair, man. If you're being a wicked fuck nigga, man, guess what? If you turn back in your wicked ways, do the things that is righteous, fast, pray, follow your Bashim Yashah, buy back the time, as the scriptures say, man, guess what? You have a hope to redeem, you have a hope to redemption, man. You have hope to be saved, you know? But guess what? If you're already doing this, if you're already being a, a, a righteous, doing the ways of Yahweh Hashem and Shah, and saying, oh, the hell with this, I'm going to go back to doing what I, uh, uh, what I like to do. I'm going to go back pleasing my flesh. You know? Guess what? Then you're going to die thereby. Surely. I'm not even going to say you might die. Guess what? You really, you actually going to die. You know? Unless you're part of the elected, the Lord's going to bring you back into the fold. You know? Come on, this is, uh, by, by, uh, this is Ezekiel. This is a precept for what the brother got in 33. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Actually, I'm going to jump up to 11, then I'm going to go to 17. Ezekiel 3 and 11. And go. Ezekiel 3 and 10. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I, have, that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart. And that word heart goes back into your mind, all right? The Hebrew word for heart is wild, all right? And that means your mind, your inner man. All right, so so receive it in your inner man. That means uh, that means uh, adopt it. All right, take it and, and make it a part of you. Yep. It says, "All my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thine heart, and hear with thine ears, uh -huh. and go and get thee to them of the captivity. Uh -huh. Go and get thee to the people of the captivity. Right. Whether you know it or not, you are in the captivity." Yep. Ecclesiastes says, oppression maketh the wise man mad, man. Yeah. 
if you if you're in a pressure and you're not mad, that means you ain't wise, man. It means you're stuck with stock, Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm and if you don't know what Stockholm syndrome, syndrome means, it means you've been oppressed by the uh, the oppressor for so long, you end up loving them, man. Yep. You know. Yep. It says, as we said, as they called him back in the intro, as they called him back in slavery, they told him coons, or Uncle Tomahawks, man. Uncle Tomahawks. Now it says, go and get thee to them of the captivity, uh -huh. unto the children of thy people. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's, that's, that's a specific people, yeah. right? Go to the children of thy people, so don't go to another nation, don't go to a heathen nation. Yeah. That's not your people. It says, go to the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, whether they hear or whether they forbear. All right, so these people riding past, man, we're still going to be out here uh, prophesying the downfall of America, man. Whether they, whether they hear us, whether they forbear us, man. Yeah. All right? Mean, well, yeah, hey, whether, whether you actually understand, like, okay, okay, I get what you're talking about. What can I do to uh, convert? You convert, then you be out here with us, or you're going to stand on the side for so long, and then you're going to get out here with us, we're still going to be out here. Or vice versa, you be like, okay, all right, all right. What y'all talking about? When you walk up the street and we never see you again, hey, we still gonna be out here, man. All right? Whether you hear it, and you hear what we say, or whether you can bear it, man. Whether you just let it go in one ear out the other, man. You know? I've been in the truth for, for a while now, but guess what? I can't count how many people I've seen say, oh man, I'm gonna be back next week and never show up, man. You know? But does that stop me? Like, oh, well, you know, they just go, let me go. So let me just pack my books out and go. No, man. Because I'm working on my own salvation first, man. You know? Go ahead. Off our head. Oh, yeah, like your brother, like your brother, Ezekiel. Let's go into it. It says, uh, what do you read that again? 3 and 17. Okay, come on. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yeah. All right, that's specific, man. He's made them a watchman, man. The prophets are watchmen. And we already went to the word watchman. Go ahead. Yeah, and watching for what? The prophecies, man. Yep. It says, I made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Give them warning from me. Why? Because when the Lord comes back, he's coming back to what? He's coming back to kill, destroy, make desolate. All right? Come back with famine and the sword. It says in the book of Matthews, it says what? The Lord has not come back to put some peace upon the earth. But what? Not peace, but a sword, man. All right? That doesn't sound like happy times. Go ahead. Do you know that the day of the Lord is not, uh, the, has darkness no light is in not light? Yeah. Darkness and no light. Very dark. Yeah. You know? It says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way. Right, because that's the, that's the mercy of the Lord, man. The Lord is merciful now. You know, the Lord's not going to destroy you for no reason. He's going to give you a warning, you know? So if a person say, hey, if you don't get right, man, the Lord's going to destroy you. Guess what? It's up to him now to decide that, man. It's up to him to take key to that, man. All right? If he be like, oh, well, fuck with that nigga say, nah, I ain't gonna believe in that nigga, whatever. He be like, all right, well, I told you. You know, now the Lord has a justifiable reason to kill you now, man. All right, but you're going on, if you're going about your day-to-day -day life, and no one's ever told you, hey, man, if you don't get right with Yahweh Shah, you, the, the Lord, he, he's gonna destroy you. If he's never heard that, guess what? When the Lord comes back to destroy him, he, he has a justifiable thought, but like, well, Lord, you never gave me a chance to hear it. You never even gave me a chance. Uh, you didn't even give me a chance to reject you. Or didn't even give me a chance to repent. Then the Lord, that, that makes the Lord unmerciful, man. So guess what? The Lord has sent us right here to let these people know that, listen, if you don't follow, the, if you don't uh, uh, return back from your wicked ways, the Lord's going to destroy you, all right? We don't care how you take it, man, you know? Because once we tell you, man, the blood is off our hands, man, the Lord's not going to look towards us because, oh, you didn't do your job, so I got to require this at your hands now, man, like we read already. Go ahead. God, this is precept today. This is, uh... It says, and thou, shalt give the, and thou shalt give him not warning, yep. nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way yep. to save his life. Mm -hmm. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yeah, so he's going to die in his iniquity, but guess what? He's going to require that blood at your hands, man. He's going to be like, hey, man, hey, just like um, off Avatar, uh, 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 the lady, um, the girl, the dude was all barbaric. He lit a fire, and, she, and he was all barbaric, and they had to kill the one animal because he provoked it. And they, they, they try to attack him, and she said he didn't have to die, you know, because he did it, because you provoked him to, kill, to, 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 to strike him, all right? So when, he, when you provoked him to strike you, we had to kill him, because if, you, if we never did anything, he would have went around trying to kill everybody. So we had to kill him in order to, uh, uh, to uh, establish peace. But she said, well, he didn't have to die. So she basically required the blood at his hands, because this is your fault, but this had to happen. So that's how the Lord's going to be, man. 
you know? If, the Lord, if one of your friends died, and your friend has a justice cause, like, well, the Lord, you didn't ever send me a reason. And you're his best friend? The Lord's gonna look at you like, man, listen, man, this is your best friend? You never told your best friend about the truth? You know? I require his death at your hands, man. You know? It's a labor of love, man. Yeah, absolutely. And why wouldn't you, matter of fact, a uh, 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 best indication is when you first come around the truth, and I call it I call it the sugar rush. When you first get into the truth, man, you start telling everybody, man. I mean, you start telling, I mean, people that you never even met before, you start telling everybody. Random your people fans, in the store. Random people in the store, your family, first and foremost, your family or your friends first, and then when, when that, once they reject you, then you start telling everybody, man. You start telling uh, 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 people that you work with, your bosses, you know, people just random people, you just you know, talking to something. You're like, man, guess what, man, man, you know, we just relax to And then when, once you get so many rejections, then you start feeling the bitterness, man. Because you see your people actually don't want to really follow the Lord, man. You know? That's when that sugar rush starts to mile down. That's when you start actually to realize and start to see it with a uh, with a clear mind, man. Now that's I mean that's give or take, because I've seen some brothers have a sugar rush for two, three years, but I have I've seen some brothers have a sugar rush for a couple months. You know, and start miling and start like slowing down and start like, you know, get a hold of themselves, man. You know? One thing, you know, just a quick testimony, my chagrin, I could I mean, I I, I mean I, I didn't know it was, it was wicked at the time, but I had to, I cussed out my mama. You know? I let my mother out. I was like, I said, Mama, you gonna man, the Lord gonna destroy you, you wicked and everything. And, you know, I, I mean I was, I was letting it happen, man. You know, but was I right? I was not, man. Because that's still my mother, man. And I had to learn balance and I had to learn temperance. Alright? But not to veer too much off a point. Go ahead. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that to let you know once you start learning this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, a spirit is gonna get upon you, which is that uh, 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 that sweetness and that role is gonna want you to tell everybody. You know, we are supposed to still be in that spirit right now. All right, but we're supposed to balance it out though. We're not supposed to actually go out and tell everybody, but we're supposed to be out. But we're supposed to have that fire and have that uh, that burning flame in us to want to tell everybody, man. Right. And you're supposed to put it in video form. All right. First, uh, Act. back in the, uh, Ezekiel 3 and uh, 19, it says, Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, you know that can be 33 and 31. It says, uh, yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thine soul. Right. So we out here washing our hands, man. So the blood will be, so your blood will be upon us. You know, if you, like the brothers will keep saying, so we, if we come and tell you, hey, the house is on fire, the house is on fire. And we escape and you perish, and you can't really blame us. Because we told, the, we told you that the house is on fire. You know, but vice versa, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a ton us. Yeah. Hey, me personally, man, hey, the city that we stay in only has a population of roughly 80,000 people. So, and we've been out here about almost around 11 to 12 years. All right, not me per se, but we've been out here about 11 to 12 years. I believe, we've seen, I believe we've already talked this whole entire uh, 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 city, man. I believe this city's done, man. You know? But does that give us a reason about, oh, well, we can leave the city's done, we should go ahead? No, because you have people li leaving, you have people coming in, you know? We have people from different cities. We have other cities. We have Hammond. We have East Chicago. You know? Actually, matter of fact, the recent brothers that we have in our camp actually came from different cities. A couple of brothers came from East Chicago. A couple other brothers came from Hammond. You know? So guess what, man? I just I let you know that you have to you have to constantly keep pushing, man. Only the Lord knows who, who, uh, who has. Uh, uh, only the Lord knows who uh, who heard this truth or not, man. All right? And it even says, you know, uh, the, the end shall not come. And so the whole world has uh, has heard the truth, right? All right. Ezekiel chapter thirty-three. Ezekiel chapter thirty-three, verse thirty-one. And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as the, as my people. Yeah. So you might have people walk up, look at y'all, look at us, take pictures of the signs, you know, ask questions, take notes. Go ahead. And they sit before thee as my people, uh -huh. and they hear my words, but they will not do them. See, they hear your words, they hear what the words that we're saying, you know, about what? The uh, walking in, walk in the statues of God's commandments, not eating pork, not getting lying, all right? Not popping another man's woman, all right? They hear the words you're saying, but what? They will not do them. See, they will not do them, man. That means they're going off about what they think, man, you know? I hear what you're saying, but guess what? I'm gonna still do what I want to do. Go ahead. But with their mouth, they 
show much love. Hey, well, we, and we get it every camp, which is what? That honking? Shalom! Shalom! Call me, call me, call me. Uh, okay, all right, that's cool and all. But what are you doing to uh, wake up your people, man? All right? Why are you not doing what we're doing, man? You want to say Shalom? 